Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Mark Killer. We hear you is the message today from officials at Wyoming Valley Sanitary Authority. It concerns a controversial stormwater runoff fee. Eyewitness News has been reporting on this controversy since last week when bills first went out. Today, for the first time since the controversy broke, we hear from the authority on camera. The I team's Andy Mahalshik joins us now from the Control Center. Andy? Well, Mark, that controversy is indeed intensifying as more people and business owners open their mail and see that stormwater runoff fee. It impacts 72,000 private homes and 11,000 commercial properties. The fee is designed to help keep our waterways and water supplies clean, but it's led to a firestorm of anger and questions. Many people say they can't afford to pay it. Others question why do they have to pay it in the first place? We have heard you, and we are going to look into this to make sure that it's done in an equitable, fair manner. It has not happened in recent memory. The board of directors of the Wyoming Valley Sanitary Authority holding a news conference to speak directly to the public to address concerns and, in some cases, outrage about the new stormwater runoff fee. We were getting the runaround. We decided to um, get together and see what we can do as a group to try to eliminate this fee ourselves. Residents are packing meetings like this one Thursday night in Jackson Township, lambasting the Valley Sanitary Authority. And up until today, the authority has been quiet. Our apologies for not communicating the, the message clearly or sending out bills that might have been confusing or have frustrated people and brought out angst among, amongst you. The stormwater runoff fee is the result of a U.S. Environmental Protection Agency mandate requiring communities to reduce contamination flowing into the Susquehanna River. That fee will fund storm runoff control measures. But many residents suffered sticker shock when they opened their bills. This is a complicated issue and solutions are evolving. So we ask you to bear with us and be patient while we work through this and get the answers that you want to have. In fact, the authority has also hired a law firm to investigate the possibility of reducing fees or even eliminating them. We're going to look at every legal option that we have, whether it be against a, you know, a governmental agency or any other agency that, you know, that we can pursue potentially to lessen the financial burden on the Wyoming Valley Sanitary Authority's customers. And despite today's news conference, residents and business owners are being told they still have to pay the bill, at least for now. Reporting in the Control Center, Andy Mahal, Chicago Witness News. Mark? A lot of outrage, Andy. Communities across our region are watching the intense debate in the Wyoming Valley because many of them will also have to implement the same fee. Coming up on Eyewitness News at 6, we'll hear from officials and residents of Hazleton who are bracing for impact.